So today, guys, I'm going to show you how to install a texture pack in your modded world. Now, as you see, these are all vanilla textures right here, but don't worry, all of the modded textures work just fine. And I'm going to show you that later on, too. Just to say, I'm uploading two videos at the same time, this one and also one to show you how to upload a texture pack into your vanilla worlds. So if you want to just upload it to vanilla, then go watch that video. It'll be on my channel already by the time you're seeing this. Just one quick thing to mention before we start, though, is that all the links for all the stuff I show you in today's video will be down in the description, so you can easily go and find them and and just click on those links to take you directly to the pages. Also in today's video, I'm only going to show you the one texture pack that I use, but this method does work for any texture pack that you'd like to add to your modded world. So you just follow the same process and you'll be fine. So the first thing you're going to want to download is this right here, the Bepinex pack for Valheim. And you want to make sure that it is this version here by Denixum. There are some other versions of this pack out there and I actually made this mistake myself, downloaded a different version, couldn't get it working for a while. So I wanted to mention that today so you guys make sure you use this one. The link will be in the description. So if you follow that, you will be fine. So the way you're going to download this is click right here where it says manual download and then it should just automatically download for you and you'll get the zip folder for that. So here it is now showing up in my downloads folder. So for now what we want to do is just drag and drop that over onto our desktop. The next thing to download is this mod right here which is called custom textures. It has all kinds of uses but we're just going to focus on what we're doing today which is of course uploading a texture pack. So go to this link in the description and then scroll down and hit on files over here and this is the one you want the custom textures file right here and again we're just going to hit manual download for that one. So it'll then come up with this uh, on Nexus mod, you can have slow or you can pay for a faster download. I'm just going to do the slow one. It won't take too long for such a small download. So once again, that should show up down here for you or in your downloads folder. And again, just go ahead and drag and drop that over onto the desktop. Finally, you're going to need the texture pack you want to use. Now the link to this particular texture pack will be down in the video description if you want to use the same one as me. But if you do want to use your own one, that's completely fine. And you're going to follow the same process at this stage. Just go ahead and download it. Now, once you hit download, it's going to let you know that you need these two things. Of course, we already have them. So we're just going to go ahead and hit download. And once that download is complete, again, we can go ahead, drag and drop that onto our desktop. So we now have these three files right here and each of them are going to be required for what we're about to do. Now at this stage, you want to go ahead and right click and hit extract all. And by default, it will come up and put it on your desktop because that's where we are right now, which is completely fine. So we'll hit extract. So then you get a folder like this. It will have the same name, but it'll be a folder here that you can double click and open up to explore. So if I open up this one, then we see we have all of this stuff right here, for example. And we're going to go ahead and do that for each of the others as well. So again, we're going to right click and extract all for the custom textures. So we have that one there and we're going to do it for the texture pack. So you should now have these three folders right here, which are the extracted versions, of course, of these three right here. Now I've done it this way on purpose because it's going to make things super simple when we go to the next stage. So in order to add a texture pack into your modded, first of all, what you're going to want to do is load up your Thunderstorm mod manager, then select the profile that you want to add the texture pack to and go ahead and click select profile. So as you can see, I've got 64 mods installed on this profile and I'm going to show you that the texture pack will work with all of them. So this is a pretty good gauge for that. So to install the texture pack, here's what we do. First of all, click on settings down here. Then you want to go to this option right here, which is browse profile folder. Let's go ahead and click that to open that up. So that's going to bring you to a folder that'll look something like this. And as you can see, obviously, uh, we've got Kaizen here is the name of my profile. So this name here should be whatever name of the profile that you're trying to add the texture pack to. Now, as you can see, I already have Bepinex installed on this one as part of the mod pack. But if you don't, you want to follow the steps before. So just to go over what they were, you're going to open up the Denix and Bepinex pack on your desktop, double click to open this right here, then select all of these and drag them across to here. But as you can see, I already have them all over here, so I don't need to do that again. Now at this point, what we do is go into the Bepinex folder right there and double click on plugins. At this stage, you want to open your custom textures folder and this custom textures DLL, once again, we're going to drag that and drop it in over here. Then we're just going to right click in here and go new and folder. And we're going to call this folder custom textures or one word, capital C, capital T, just like that. Of course, this is done in alphabetical order, so you can easily find that folder and double click it to open it. Then go back to your desktop open the Louis texture pack or whatever your one is. Click on here, do a control A to select all of these images and then simply drag them into this folder. With that done, we can go ahead and just close down everything you see here and start up your modded in the way that you normally would. So then when you load up your world, you should see that the texture pack has taken effect, of course. Now these here are just the vanilla textures that we've seen before, but over here I have some modded items. We got like the wishing well, the special alchemy table. Over here is Thor's forge and we got our goat or whatever this is <laughs> over here. But as you can see, these all look really clean that, you know, nothing bad happens when you install a texture pack into modded. I know that's something some people worry about, but no, that, that's not the case. And so that, guys, is how you install a texture pack in your modded worlds if that's something you want to do. I hope you found this
is useful. If you want to see a video on how to install a texture pack in your vanilla worlds, that is already on my channel. I uploaded them both at the same time to make it nice and easy for you. But for now, I just want to say the dad jokes are of course coming, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. My car only works every other day. I think it might be the alternator. My dog doesn't have a sore throat. He's just a little husky. My friend drove his expensive car into a tree and found out how his Mercedes bends. My friend's bakery burnt down last night. Now his business is toast.